Uh, hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. So uh, would you like to talk about why the NGA hosts the Bowness Prize? Yes, so the, the Bowness Photography Prize um, was founded by the Bowness family here in Melbourne, um, and it was set up to promote excellence in contemporary photography, which we think it aims to do um, every year. It's in its 11th year this year, and um, every year we look forward to seeing the best of uh, contemporary photography across Australia. Uh, now, is the competition just for professional photographers, or can anyone enter? Not at all. It's really open to anyone engaged with making images with a, with a camera or, in fact, they don't even have to use a camera. As long as they're using some photographic medium to produce an image, then we're open to, to considering them a, as potential winners. Mm. And I think we're really proud of the fact that the prize supports both um, established and emerging artists. And I think the winners in the past year show that, that you'll have some artists who have been around um, and been quite established here in Australia and then other artists who it might be the first time that they've won a prize of this caliber. Yep, definitely. And it's a national prize, it's not for international entries? No, it's, it's a national prize. It's um, open to Australian um, citizens and residents and um, we've seen past winners um, from across the entire country. So we're definitely open to um, not only getting entries um, across the Eastern Seaboard, but really keen to get people from um, WA, Northern Territory and South Australia to enter this year. So for an artist or a photographer interested in entering, uh, do we have a point of difference? Yeah, I think I think a really important point of differentiation between our prize and other prizes is that um, Australian photography is core business for MGA. We do it, you know, all year, in and out. Uh, we collect Australian photography. So anyone entering the prize, the MGA um, bonus prize, is actually participating in a broader context of this institution's investment in photography, and that's not the case with any of the other photographic prizes. Let's just talk about the finalists exhibition. Um, what's what's in it for the finalists? What sort of promotion or media will they expect to see? And uh, are the works for sale during this exhibition or just hung for display? Yeah, I mean, it is, I think, recognised as one of the most important surveys of contemporary photography, as well as being a prize. It is an opportunity for people to get a flyover of what's happening in contemporary photography. So for the people who, for the photographers, for the artists who are included in the finalist exhibition, it's their opportunity to tap into that audience. But it's also very importantly an opportunity for them to see their own practice alongside the work of other contemporary photo media, photographer, artists. And, you know, this artists often work in a very uh, internal space within the context of their studio. So I think it's generally quite delightful for the, the finalists to see their work out within this public space next to their, their contemporaries. Uh, I think everyone finds that really rewarding and interesting and stimulating. And just to answer one of your other questions around is work for sale, I would imagine most of the artists would tell you that their work is for sale. Um, and if we get any sort of questions, obviously we um, refer them on to the galleries. And I, I personally love to see um, work that's been hung in the gallery that goes for sale because, again, that means that we're playing a role in doing our job of promoting Australian photography. I would just summarise the key dates for 2016. Well, excitingly, today is um, so Wednesday the what is it? 20th. <laughs> Wednesday the twentieth um, is the opening for um, entries. So as of today, people are able to submit their entries through our online process, and we would encourage them to go to mga.org.au. Um, the actual judging takes place, I think, in, in June when the entries close, um, and then the Wednesday the seventh of. Uh, September, we will announce the winner. And um, I, I don't know if, if, um, if, I think we can announce that we've got um, our three judges for this year, which is really exciting. So we've got um, Fred Skepsi, um, AM, who is a, I'm sure many people know this, but he's both a um, celebrated Australian um, director and producer of film. Mm -hmm. And we think he's going to be fantastic because he spent a lot of time behind the lens. Um, we've also got John Gollins, who I'm sure most people in the photographic community would know. Um, but John Gollins is also a celebrated community. And the third judge is me. So um, I'll, be, I'll be getting across the work this year as well, um, which is really exciting. I'm, I am I'm, I can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. Okay, Kelly and Stephen, thank you very much for your time. And to uh, all the photographers out there, Take note and uh, get your entries in real soon.